The following audio drama is rated G, which means it's perfectly safe for folks and families of all ages. Yes, even Grandma. Enjoy. Fifth Striker, Spaceways. Attention, attention, friends of Nova Command. Thrill seekers of the Star Alliance, Biff Straker and his fantastic adventures in the Spaceways is on the air. Brought to you in radiographic sound, where the pictures are chemically formed in your mind. Boy, Biff is really in trouble right now. In Earth's future, human beings are illegal. Biff was arrested by the strange canine sentinel. Varger. But before we tune into this week's exciting adventure, let's check in with Nova Cadet Prime Kid Rocket. This is Earth calling from the 21st century to Kid Rocket. Come in, Kid Rocket. Are you there? I hear you. This is Kid Rocket speaking. Loud and clear, Kid. Where are you calling from anyway? From Ataraxia. Some call it the Tower City. Ataraxia? Where is that, kid? Why? On Luna, of course. In the Sea of Tranquility. Don't you know that? <laughs> We don't have cities on the moon in the 21st century, kid. You don't? Where do humans live? <laughs> on Earth, of course. Tail Prime? But that's against the law. We just discovered that. Biff's in trouble right now. But before we can find out what happened, tell our Nova Cadets where they can contact you for secret information from the future. Yes, sir. Just write to me or Angela Deegan at NovaCadet at gmail.com. Tell us why it will be a good member of the Nova Cadets. Thanks so much, kid. We'll talk to you next week. I have the Colonel Radio Ready same time, sir. This is Force Cadet Kid Rocket signing off saying... Aim for the stars! And now to the 31st century, where Biff emerged from the time turbine cockpit to darkness and danger. A hound patrol officer named Varger arrested Biff. The crime? A human being or sapient trespassing on Earth. Arrested Biff and Varger were then attacked by a gang of rat men called the Roadies. Fighting for his life, a rat man and Biff cascaded through a decrepit building to land on the rotted roof of a shanty flat below. Slowly regaining consciousness, Biff does not see the hurtling, burning rocket ship like a fiery arrow scorched across the sky crash nearby. What's that? Explosion? My head. Where? The window. I... The rat man. Oh, poor devil. Lucky I didn't break something. What's that noise? Plane? Smoke. It crashed nearby. There could be survivors. And as our hero pulls himself from the wreckage of a fallen house, another hero, one Angela Deegan of Nova Command, slowly awakens in the wreckage of the bridge of the Chariot Class Shuttle. Warning. Warning. Doctor? Doctor I'm Thermal here, Commander. Warning. Are you hurt? I'll be fine. You? If I can wipe the blood out of my eyes long enough to see... Here. Electric torch. Looks like the power's out. You've got a gash on your forehead. I'm fine, Doctor. I'll walk out of here. Then it was a good landing. Isn't that what you flyers say? I... What was Trouble. that? Trouble. I hoped we wouldn't be discovered this quickly. 
surely a crushed rocket ship. The Merovian ship Council use. doesn't differentiate between accidental and purposed landings. What are you doing with that? Arming myself. Care for a blaster, Professor? No, thank you. I abhor physical violence. I do too. Especially to myself. Can't we just wait in here for a Nova Command to send the shuttle? There wasn't time to send out a distress. Even if we did, it would have to go through channels and take too long. How long did that take? No. What day is it? Lunar 4, Tuesday. Uh, 26 days. Oh dear. Besides, forget our cargo. You don't Professor, think... We have to make sure it's secure. But the consequences would be... Pull the hatch lever when I give the word, and stand back. I'm not going to hurt I've them. said it to Neural Paralyze. We don't need to add incidents to incident. Ready? Perhaps they'll be understanding. Open the hatch. I don't think they understand after all, Professor. <laughs> With the expert stamina of a university football player, Biff runs through the ruined city streets, echoes of wind and the laser fire guiding him through the decay. He stops short, the Nova Command shuttle occupants besieged by the roadie gang. Biff considers his options. The plane. Think, Biff. Think. No guns. Whoever's inside needs help. If I could... Maybe. Just maybe. The roof. Now, if I can just... Leaning against the base of a rusted radio tower, Biff presses until the housing gives way and... Are they using artillery on the ship? The tower! On the top Let of the tower! Let me see! Climb up it! No! Some guy's on the building, waving at us! He smashed down some kind of metal lattice for us to climb! Won't the Merovians just shoot us from there? It's on the other side of the building! I don't think... Professor! What? There's a maintenance emergency hatch below the co-pilot seat! Uh, I see it! Use the spanner to remove the three bolts! Then you should be able to reach through and pull the lever to release the hull sheath plate. Almost there. You should be able to crawl up the outside. Crawl through and pull yourself up on the other side of the ship. Got it. Wait, Commander, what will you do? I'll keep them distracted. As long as they're focused on this opening. Get moving, Professor. I'll be along shortly. Meanwhile, Captain Barra of the Rody Gang looks worriedly at the Chariot-class shuttle. We can't stay. Still nothing from Zarvan on the radio. The signal's lost. Lost in the ruins. Radiation cuts both ways. Gives us time before the hounds are on us. But it's impossible to find each other when... What in the pits was... Dust clearing. Keep your fire focused on the portal. They have to surrender. We're taking prisoners. We have no choice. That hound hunter's not alone. Hold your fire! Sapiens, throw down your weapons and come out with your arms outraised, and no one will harm you. What are your terms? No terms. Surrender now, and your safety's assured. Do not try our patience. Well? What is your answer? You negotiate with sapiens. Are we not of the Rahod? Strong as the pack? They... <coughs> you question my decision? No. Captain Mara. The sapiens have a ship. We do not. The hounds protect the council and they alone hold the secret to flight. We gain a ship and then... They shot the ship's portal. Why? We can cut it open. Unless... Quickly, the other side. Capture them. Do not kill. Meanwhile, Biff reaches out to help the professor up. Steady. We must... 
Commander Deegan, they've stopped shooting. It can only mean... One thing at a time. Give me your hand. Just... out of my reach. Commander, they've got her. The tower's bending. Don't... But we must say... Hold on! Give me your other hand. There. <sighs> Ildin Thermopylae. Biff. Biff Straker. Pleased to meet you. I will only surrender to an official Still. member of the Moravian Council. Captain, she fights like a demon. Give me that blaster. What? She dropped it there. Here, Captain Barra. Hold. Give me back my weapon, or I will end this Rohain. She will. She's cr- Drag them both back to the circle. Hey, Captain Barra, how did you guess that the blaster was not set to kill? It wasn't then, was it? But I thought you wanted her alive. Fool, you heard her. She was ready to surrender to the Council. Do you think she would have dared to kill us, knowing how much trouble she's in already? Do you? No, I guess not. Then prepare the pool. We'll take her and the other you captured. But he promises to be useful. He says he can operate the shuttlecraft. We shall see. We shall see. Bring them. Great day. What will happen to Commander Angela Deegan? And what is the pool? Who is this other they have captured? Could it have been Biff? Speaking of our hero, what will he do next? Can he save the Commander and the Professor and escape the nightmarish future Earth? All this and much more in Episode 4 of Biff Straker and Spaceways with The Pool of Death. Next episode. Episode 3, The Fallen Angel stars Glenn Haskell as Patrol Hound Varger, Colleen McIsaac as Professor Ildine Thermopylae, Tanya Malayevich as Commander Angela Deegan, Ellie Hirschman as Captain Barra, with Jim Adams and Bob Teague as Rhodey 1, 3, and 2, audio editing production by Josiah Ambrose, music composed and performed by Sharon B., Colm Guthrie Ward is Kid Rocket, and Jack Ward is Biff Straker. I'm your announcer, Mark Brzee. Return with us next time for Biff Straker and the Pool of Death. Good night. This has been an Electric Vicuna production.